Hey, this is Dan with Guardian Mold Prevent, and I want to take a look with you at an attic space on a home that has been placed on the market, and the uh, homeowners were unsuspecting that they had an attic mold issue, and uh, once they got a buyer at the table, the buyer brought in a home inspector, and that home inspector went in the attic space and notated that there was possible mold growth or a mold-like substance on the plywood sheathing and the rafters in this attic space. Now, this is a truss roof, which means that there are engineered rafters. As you can see, they're two by fours that are held together with steel plates, um, and the mold has developed on both the sheeting and the rafter as a result of poor ventilation and uh, insufficient uh, insulation. And we'll look at a diagram very quickly. This is a, a picture of what your attic space is meant to look like. You can see that the highest ceiling in your house should have a good insulation barrier. So you want to keep your house heat down and out, especially in the wintertime. Um, and so there, there should be a very good barrier of insulation. Now at the overhangs or the edges of the roof, you can see on the lower portions that there are meant to be soffit vents or lower vents that allow for cold air to get up into the attic space. It's, it's key to notice that it's supposed to get past your insulation barrier. And then any warm air that does end up in the attic space is meant to be forced up and out through upper vents in the attic. Now you need to make sure that you've got sufficient lower ventilation. You need to make sure that that lower ventilation is uh, free and clear of insulation, blocking it, uh, the airflow, and make sure that your upper ventilation is also sufficient. Sometimes when there's not enough, they'll add a power fan that, that has a humidistat and a thermostat on it, and nonetheless, uh, those items work together. Now you can see afterwards, what we did is we came in with a biocide, which is a liquid product that kills mold. We then physically scrubbed down all of the surfaces of the top cord of the truss, uh, which acts as the rafter and also the plywood sheeting throughout the attic space. Once they've been uh, treated and scrubbed, we then treat it again with an acrylic-based mold-resistant coating. It's a white product in this particular instance, and uh, that coating comes with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty that it won't support mold growth on the applied coating surface. Uh, the warranty is on the coating itself, so it does not matter who owns the property, which is usually key when trying to sell a house that's been flagged with a mold issue. Uh, and we leave our air equipment running overnight just to continue as a, a precautionary measure to run all the air through HEPA filtration. Uh, we come back the next day and we break containment, we pull the air machine out, and then essentially you're good to go. In this particular house, uh, the homeowner was able to appease the buyer and uh, go to closing and sell the home.